We love travel. I mean, it's in our name, have but all travel. <laughs> True. Whether that be a simple kind of weekend road trip or mm -hmm. like a long overseas holiday, which we're about to embark on, um, which is super exciting. <laughs> um, we love to travel and that means we need travel snacks. So we are going to talk to you guys about our favorite keto travel snacks. Yes. And we've got a, a lot. lot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the tips I have with um, keto travel snacks is take more than you think you'll eat um we always take lots we only eat half of that just bring them home <laughs> and it's fine because you're better off having a keto snack on hand yes. when you need it than opting for a non-keto option because you didn't have nothing something. worse than roaming around the airport hungry can't find anything to eat that's when erica cracks you make so. bad decisions <laughs> yeah. in that situation so we always have heaps of snacks in our carry-on and we make them things that we actually enjoy eating yep. because don't bring things you don't really like because if it's me i'll choose something else then so i'll bring things that we think are yummy as yep. well so all of these things don't require refrigeration. That's what's awesome about them. You can just chuck them in your bag, you're good to go. Probably one of our favorite um, travel snacks are nut butters in these handy little sachets because they're super yummy, they're really filling, and they're so easy. Like you can have some of these in your backpack or your handbag and like they're not gonna spill, they don't they need to be refrigerated. have their little perforated have things. Little so you just thing rip them off and then and you just squeeze them out. This one is absolutely delicious. It's like a blend of macadamia, cashew and coconut butter. This one's like a chocolate flavored coconut butter. This one you can get on iHerb. It's just a plain coconut butter and then like an almond butter. So there's heaps of different ones Lots available. Lots of different options. These yeah. are some of our favorites. Another really good thing to just chuck in your bag so that you've got some ready to go are nuts. So we love a range of nuts. So we've got quite a few here. <laughs> All this stuff's just come out of our snack drawer. <laughs> so pecans, pecans, yum. These macadamia nuts from Low Carb Emporium, they are delicious. They're one of Erica's favorites. She yeah. loves the flavors that and they have. And definitely good because it's like a small size packet as well. So there's like what, two serves in there, I think. These ones from Coles, the salted ones, macadamias, they're delicious. They're really salty, mm. so they're great for traveling if you need that and little bit of extra. And reasonably priced for macadamias. And we also love peely nuts, mm. um, really low carb, the lowest carb nut you can get. And low carb emporium stock these now, so these are excellent. Another good um, non-refrigerated travel snack option is any sort of cheese crisp. Um, we've got a whole video talking about some of our favorites, so definitely check that out. These are great um, because, yeah, they're crunchy, savory, they hit the spot if you're wanting just something really snacky. Depending on the type of travel you're doing, um, they are a little bit more fragile than, say, nuts or something, so they might get squashed if you had to pack them in a bag, but I think they're a great option. Really good for road trips if you yes. used to have, like, um, Chips or popcorn chips. or something yeah. like that. It really fills that hole. Meat snacks are also another really good option to um, travel with. So we have never been massive jerky fans, but these are really good jerky options if you're looking for something that's keto friendly. We love the Epic stuff um, and we tried these and the meat bar kind of things when we we're in the mm. US and they're, they're pretty good even though we don't kind of opt for meat options they're really good um tasty yeah and they're like good very low carb and like clean i guess clean products. ingredients yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and another kind of meat based option are pork rinds. Again, depends on your type of travel because they are a little fragile. They will get squashed. So if you're on a car trip or just traveling locally, these would be great. Maybe not so much if you wanted to pack them in your suitcase. Although we did bring these home from the US. And not. they survived. <laughs> yeah, they made it. But um, just be aware with anything like pork rind meat yes. products there can be some issues when you're if you're traveling internationally it really depends on the country you're visiting what their regulations are 
Um, so, so you probably need to eat them on the plane. Yeah, either eat them on the plane or great for more domestic local travel. Certainly coming into Australia, they don't like you bringing in meat products from other countries. But as long as you declare anything that you have, just be aware it might be removed. So uh, some countries are super lenient, but most other types of products, as long as it's like package. a package, you know, commercially packaged sealed product, we've had no trouble with any other things except meat products. One snack we always put in our bag, especially when we're traveling on a plane, is chocolate. Now the thing when we travel on a plane is we obviously don't go with the dessert. And in order for us to avoid the dessert, we like to have some of our chocolate with us um, so that we feel like we're not missing out, um, but still sticking to keto. So we love the Vital Works white chocolate. It is probably <laughs> our favorite treat of all yeah, time. <laughs> I would think so. It's so um, good. I like this, Erica doesn't. Um, it's probably not the best, best ingredients, but it's it, bad. it works well for me. And then this is the good old staple. 90%. <laughs> we we like always this. have that with us. Yeah. And you can't get it everywhere we found. Yeah. So we like just having some of this with us if we feel like something sweet so that we don't resort to something that we don't want to eat. <laughs> Another great um, option is a protein bar. I guess it could even be like a meal-ish replacement, um, depending on what you're up to. We really like these apricot and coconut um, smart protein bars, thanks to Odetta in our Facebook group who put us onto these. I haven't come across any of the other flavors that I love, but the apricot and coconut ones are really, really yummy. Yep. And these are great. I mean, you can just have this in your bag. If there's nothing you can eat, you've got this, you're getting 20 grams of protein, so it does really fill you up. These are also similar to the nut butters. You could even have these in your handbag um, and travel with them everywhere you go so that yeah. you've got something. And I know this probably sounds extreme or something, but for me, like, if you've come from a background of dieting or restriction or anything like that, I guess, um, you can be fearful of there's not going to be something there that you can eat. And that is a real issue for me, even though I could go a long period without eating now because I'm used to fasting and things, but it's still like a hang up that I have. So if I have these things with me, it's like I feel secure that there's not yeah. going to be a point where there's nothing there I can eat and I'm going to go hungry and the you know that type of thing. I think it's just like a security blanket. Yeah, the snacks have become a security blanket for us. We take more than we eat and they are there as a backup. Yeah, and if it's something that keeps us on track, then we're it's happy to it. do it. Yeah. option we haven't really kind of um, gone down the road of much is a meal replacement. Um, these keto chow would work really well if you are um, got a long road trip and there's no options for you to mm -hmm. stop and have um, a meal like lunch or dinner yeah. um, you could take your fat part like the cream um, yeah, or it could in even a flask be oil, so I guess that wouldn't need to be refrigerated right yeah and then just mix it up and um, drink it so yeah and these are really good kind of macros and it's like a whole meal whole you get meal. all your nutrition everything for a you whole need. meal yeah so this is another really good option especially if you're unsure of whether you're going to get a keto friendly meal. Yeah. So these are all of our favorite keto friendly travel snack options. I hope that you found this useful and maybe found some new ones for your <laughs> traveling. We leave for our big European trip in about five days. So, so I might need a be suitcase just for all of this stuff. Right? Plenty of this <laughs> stuff coming with us. Um, also, we will be giving you daily updates of our travels while we're away, so keep an eye on that. We're going to show you how we keto and travel in Europe and also things like supermarkets in Europe and that kind of thing. Yeah, and there'll be lots of delicious keto-friendly food. So definitely subscribe because you're going to want to watch Come Along With Us to France and all the exciting places we're going to. Lots of meat and cheese, so definitely subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.